Hello YouTube, this is Travis Dunn with MDL and this is my vlog. I hope everyone had a great Christmas and a happy new year. I hope everyone didn't drink and drive and got home safely. 2015 uh, was certainly an uh, interesting year. It had some ups and its downs like any other year. Uh, sadly, 2016 has started on a low note for me. Uh, we found out on Sunday that my aunt had passed away. Um, this is my mother's sister, and certainly um, losing a sibling has been very difficult for her. Um, this is an aunt that I actually knew very well, um, probably more than any of my other aunts and uncles. And, uh, and, I, and I certainly know that my cousin is probably going through a gambit of emotions right now, uh, losing a parent. I myself have lost one of my parents. My dad passed away several years ago. So I understand uh, a little bit about the emotional roller coaster that uh, that goes along with it. So my heart and prayer goes to, out to him and his family, um, and uh, hopefully every, you know everything will uh, be okay. Moving on to other things, uh, Christmas was a resounding success, uh, at least for the children, uh, and somewhat myself. Um, the kids obviously got pretty much everything on their list, minus one or two items. Uh, there are always those crazy expensive one-offs that uh, that just don't make sense to, to purchase. Um, needless to say, we did spend a lot of money and a lot more than I was planning on spending, but that's pretty typical for the Christmas season. Uh, I myself, if you're watching this, on my new camcorder. Um, this will certainly help me do a lot more running and gunning shooting when I go to different events uh, like Origins again. Uh, it was one of my huge disappointments with Origins last year as far as what I shot. A lot of it was very unusable, it was very janky, it was very, uh, the, the image stabilization on my phone just simply did not uh, work very well. So with this, I'll be able to do a lot more running and gunning uh, obviously, I have some other plans for 2016 uh, with the SD Project channel. I hope to do some tech. I hope to do mostly cars. That's going to be cars are going to be a big part of my focus. I think in the later half of the year, um, I'll try to throw in some tech reviews and things like that um, to fill out the the season. So uh, look for, looking forward to doing that. Um, and re and recently, my brother and I'll leave a link in the description, uh, decided to start his own channel. Now, I'm currently working with him a little bit on it. I did uh, I did create an intro for him. Um, been giving a few tips here and there from a few of the things that I have learned in this eight or 10 months that I have, uh, I have been trying to do the YouTube thing. Um, certainly, it's been a lot of fun for me. I've got to learn some new skills. Um, I'm really hoping to elevate my skills in the coming year. Um, I do have some some different things that I, that I want to try to do, and uh, hopefully they're not too ambitious. Um, now, you may or may not recognize this room. This isn't actually the spare bedroom. Um, I had mentioned recently that my mother-in-law had come to stay with us. Um, we kind of expected that could be temporary, that could have been an extended stay. Um, but as of last week, she did move out, move in with the, um, my wife's sister and her boyfriend. Um, so we took the bed that was in this room. My son now has that. Um, I kind of had prom before the whole uh, mother-in-law moving in. I kind of promised that one to him. So I went ahead and gave that to him. And we took the bed, the twin bed that was in his room, went and gave it to her, to her mother, um, because she didn't have any type of furniture. So uh, the spare dresser uh, went into Austin's room, and his dresser and bed went to her. So this room is currently open. Um, right now, it is a complete disaster. I have a, a bit of cleaning to do. We had some stuff that was stuffed under the bed. I had stuff that's in the closet. I've, I've pulled most of that out and it's kind of strung across the room right now. Um, the plans for this room is to uh, turn this into both a shooting room um, and a gaming room. So I'm gonna, all the consoles, the desktops, all that is going to be moved into this room. I do eventually hopefully put some, some bookcases in on a couple of the walls 
to uh, store all the games. I hope to have a way of having all the consoles out and available to play at any given time. Um, right now, some of them are just, uh, I've got, I know I've got one on a shelf. I've got one that's tucked, I got an, the original Xbox is tucked away somewhere. And I want the opportunity to, to have those things out on display um, so that whenever I get a wild hair and decide I want to go a little retro, I can just, you know, toss in a game and start playing. Um, I haven't decided, I have a 32 inch TV, which is kind of, you can see over here, part of, um, I don't know if that, that's going to be the, the TV that I'm going to use. I do have a 50 inch in my bedroom, um, and it doesn't get watched very often. And the audio is kind of cruddy anyway. So I may take that TV, bring it in here, put a sound bar on it and, uh, use that for, uh, for gaming and then move this 32 inch into the bedroom. Um, like I said, my wife, every once in a while, she'll get to where she can't really sleep and she'll turn the TV on and, uh, and go to sleep. I don't sleep very well when a TV's on. I tend to dream and I t t tend to dream, you know, anything that happens to be on the TV. So when you're, you know, when you're waking up to a Billy Mays being in the middle of a Billy Mays commercial all night long, it is not a lot of fun. Let me tell you, you get, you get a little sick of listening to Billy Mays after a while. Um, one of the reasons I really like this room, um, it is a bit of a blank canvas. Um, we had, it sort of had worked out some, some possible colors and whatnot. Um, I will be reevaluating that in the coming weeks and months, but, uh, this room, um, it, it, it is for the most part a blank canvas for me. It's got semi white walls. Um, thank goodness with the wonderful white balance uh, option that I have on this camera. It's a little hard to tell, but they're not quite white. I would call it more of an eggshell color. And, um, and, and, I, and I may leave it that color. I may repaint them. I may change, I may, I may do, who knows, whatever that I happen to decide to do. But the lighting in this room is, is much better than, than in my back bedroom. There are two windows allowing light in, which is great. Um, and then I have, with the light above me, I have all day light bulbs there. I have my two spotlights uh, currently being used, um, but I do have some ideas about mounting them in a, in a more permanent style position. Um, so I will, I will be vlogging about that. I will be vlogging about what I do and how I do it. Um, and, and I'm really looking forward to, to making this a, a game room. Um, I haven't decided if we're going to put another bed in, in this room. I'm thinking of possibly putting like a love seat or a lounger in here, just enough to, that a couple of us could sit, play some video games. And, um, at least with something like a lounger, if we're having guests, I can let Austin vacate his room. He can take the lounger and, and the guests can, can use the bed. And we had already sort of discussed that with him and he's, he, you know, he kind of understands and, and is okay with that. So he's kind of excited also to have a dedicated room right now. The games are kind of strong across that like three rooms. There's some of it in his room. There's some of it in the living room and there's some of it in my back room, uh, back hallway on some bookcases. And honestly, I'd kind of like to have those, those particular bookcases back so that I can properly spread out my, my movie collection. Um, speaking of which I did add some, some movies to my collection, eh, about six or eight movies. Um, I've got the red collection now. Um, I picked up one of the Indiana Jones movies in a hard case in, in a metal case still, I think they call it what a steel book or, or something of that nature. Um, I picked up Jurassic world. I actually recently watched that. That actually was a, a better movie than I thought it was going to be. And uh, I picked up Prometheus, which I have not watched yet, um, but I'm kind of looking forward. To, that one had piqued my interest, but I hadn't had a chance to actually uh, rent it or watch it. So uh, I'll be doing that here in the very near future. Speaking of movies, went and seen Star Wars The Force Awakens. And let me say, it was an awesome movie. J.J. Abrams did the right amount of uh kind of a fanfare. Uh, there was a lot of throwback, obviously, to, to the original uh, trilogy. And um, he did a really awesome job. And thank God, I think I think there was only maybe like four lens flares and, and everybody kind of made a joke. And at one point, he even, he even said he was going to cut the lens flares down in this particular movie. Uh, sadly, though, 
um, as great as the movie was. There were a few story arcs that didn't get hashed out. I'm hoping uh, in the next couple of movies we'll, we'll get more of that hashed out. I hope they don't do too much of the, oh, well, you have to go read the comics or read certain books to, to fill in the gaps of certain information. Um, I won't spoil the movie for you in this particular vlog. I may, however, sit down with, uh, cause I, I took my son and obviously I went with Doc and, uh, when we went to the movie, uh, just after my birthday. So, um, you know, I may sit, like I said, I may sit down, do a full on discussion, uh, kind of similar to what I did earlier in the year when, after the trailers and stuff were first coming out, uh, talking about the you know, the movie and whatnot. So, uh, the last couple weeks I have been sick. So I will apologize if I sound funny or if I make funny noises. Um, in fact, I feel some, some stuff coming on, but, uh, yeah, I managed to squeak through my birthday without being sick and right about right before Christmas. I, I, unfortunately, uh, it all, all came out and everybody at work has been sick. So, uh, I've been struggling with it for the last two weeks. It's been, uh, I've been very worn out. I can't sleep a whole lot. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm just, I'm trying to, to get as much cat napping in as I can. Um, and, and, and as soon as this is gone, uh, I plan on start going to the gym. I have recently gained another about seven pounds more than, than I had, uh, pretty much when I started last year. And, um, I don't know what the, the part of it could be my job, you know, cause I don't really do a lot of physical work anymore. So I, I have decided I'm going to go to the gym. I've got a couple in mind. Um, and I will vlog and talk about my journey in that. And I know a lot of people go, Oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to get fit. And I'm going to, I'm not so much in, in the, in the whole super fitness thing. Um, I'm hoping to go about once a week. Uh, maybe twice, um, if I get to, if I get heavy into it, I actually did enjoy when I went to the gym, uh, for a short time. And, uh, but this is one of those things I'm going to have to commit to, cause obviously I'm a, I, I will end up committing to a contract. So it would be kind of a waste for me not to use it. And if I go two or three, even if I go two or three times a month, it'd still be a, a more physical, uh, workout than, than I'm getting now. And, and I'm hoping I'd like to 25 pounds is my, it would be my top goal right now. I would take 10 or 15 pounds, um, would do a lot for me physically. So I have a lot on my plate for 2016. Um, things, uh, I do have some things that I, that I'm no longer doing. Obviously I'm not tied with Girl Scouts anymore. Uh, so that will be a, a big opening in my, in my schedule. And, uh, hopefully money wise, I can just make everything work. I do have a few more accessories I need to purchase for this particular camcorder to truly make it run and gun. Um, I want to purchase a shotgun microphone and some more batteries, uh, batteries being a huge thing. I have, uh, I did pick up a couple of memory cards while I was, uh, during the Christmas season. This is, that's always a good time. They're, they're usually at a, uh, at a discounted rate. So I did pick up, uh, some extra memory cards. So I've got plenty of storage. Uh, to do lots of shooting with this. I just need, uh, I just need the batteries. And, and like I said, I want to get a shotgun mic, uh, because this camera has a, um, microphone input, uh, on the camera, which was one of the reasons why I, I particularly wanted this camera over a less expensive Sony, um, 405. So, but I will be doing, I will end up doing a review of this camcorder. Um, and I, I do intend to, like I said, I do intend to doing some tech throughout the year. Um, CES is coming up, uh, starting up this week, and uh, I'm kind of interested in seeing what the newest trends are looking to be. Um, VR sounds like it's going to be a big thing this year, um, which I think is, tr is kind of a transition from the whole 3D, TV 3D thing. Um, and, and VR interests me if if the if the cost is low enough to make sense. So. Um, 4k I imagine is going to be another it's going to be another big topic this year hopefully there's going to be I would love to finally see 4k blu-ray uh come about there are obviously some really great 4k cameras um they're a little too expensive for me um it's one of the reasons why I'm shooting in 1080p on this particular Canon um 
because 4K cameras are just too expensive. They the 700 to 1500 dollars seems to be about the mid-level uh, 4K camcorder um, or um, camera in in general. Uh, so I, it just doesn't make sense for me uh, at this point. Uh, obviously, I am not a professional. I am. I, I, I just want to. I want to learn. I want to build up into that. So, uh, like I said, that that was my reasoning for choosing this particular camcorder. Um, and so one of the things, and, and hopefully this will be something that will be dealt with, obviously, after I post the vlog, uh, though I may go ahead and edit this on my uh, laptop just to go ahead and get it out. I am waiting still on my, my power supply for uh, the Nemesis desktop. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, UPS, uh, it was shipped out on the 23rd, which uh, actually was a faster turnaround than I thought was going to happen. Um, I had received a notification from Corsair saying that the particular item wasn't in stock and that um, that it may be several weeks before it comes in. Thank goodness it was only a less than a week and it, like I said, they managed to ship it out just before Christmas. Now obviously I wasn't expecting it until at least the first of the year, but it managed to reach Obets, Ohio, which is 10 minutes really from my house, maybe 15, and sat there from from the 30th till today which is the fourth and that kind of thing is just absolutely irritating um there is no reason it should have sat that long there's no reason they shouldn't have delivered it on a saturday they do deliveries all the time in this neighborhood um i don't know what the deal was um obviously it was ground cheap ship um so you know and it's not really corsair's fault it, it, it really, at this point this is really ups's fault um, obviously with the Christmas holiday, I knew it was going to, it was going to take an extra day or so, but I didn't kind of expect it to be after New Year's because New Year's is not a real big holiday for UPS and I've known people to work, uh, at UPS. So it's not, it's not a whole, <gasps> excuse me. It is not a holiday that they shut down. And so hopefully, like I said, that is supposed to come today. I was freaking out yesterday uh, when I had checked on it because it was saying on the 5th, which was an additional day. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm really hoping that, that it hasn't been damaged. That's my fear. That's, that's what I'm fearing, why it's taking so long. Um, but we'll find out when, when the package arrives today. So that is kind of where I'm at. Um, I will actually talk in the next vlog about about my car um because it will kind of go into talking about what i want to start out doing in the uh, sd project channel uh like i said my brother has started a channel i will leave a link in the description um i hope everybody has a great day has a great week and i will catch you later